An Illinois judge says a Lutheran minister does not have to testify before the Fulton County Special Grand Jury investigating allegations of election interference by former President Trump and others. According to court documents, grand jurors wanted to question the reverend about whether he and others tried to influence the 2020 election results. A senior I-team reporter, Dale Russell, has the story. Yes, ma'am. January 2021, a frightened election volunteer on her front porch in the dark of night seeks help from a Cobb County police officer. You want to come in? If you want me to, I can. Ruby Freeman, a part-time Fulton County poll worker, had become the subject of withering nationwide attacks and threats with strangers suddenly appearing at her home. I don't know what to do. The Ruby Freeman, that's, uh, she's a vote scammer a professional vote scammer and hustler. Freeman was thrust into the national spotlight after then President Donald Trump claimed this videotape from the State Farm Arena in Atlanta showed her and her daughter who were 2020 election workers tampering with ballots. These are people who are not involved in voter fraud. Not true at all, said Georgia Secretary of State's office yeah. officials. All the video showed was routine election work. These people are not involved in voter suppression. I'm telling you, they're doing their jobs every day. I knocked on the door earlier. But once that video went viral, strangers kept showing up at Ruby Freeman's door. December 2020, this man knocked on her door, then sat in his car across the street from her home. I'm not here to hurt her. I'm not here to mm -hmm. cause any problems or anything like that. Reuters News was the first to show this police video of Stephen Lee, a Lutheran pastor from Illinois. And I'm also working with some folks who are trying to help Ruby out. Okay. Okay. Um, and also get to some truth on what's going on. What was Reverend Lee doing at Ruby Freeman's home? Well, that's what the grand jury investigating whether Donald Trump interfered with the 2020 election wants to know. And they want Reverend Lee and others to answer some questions. There's nothing at all that you can tell us about why Reverend Lee came to Ruby Freeman's home. I, no, you're, I, I, my, you can ask that question several ways, Dale. I mean, that's outside my, uh, that's above my pay grade. David Shostokas is Reverend Lee's attorney. He wouldn't comment on why the Illinois preacher showed up on Freeman's doorstep after that airing of false election fraud allegations against her. That is not in evidence in court. But he would talk about why Reverend Lee was in court last week. Reverend Lee was fighting what is essentially a subpoena, requiring him to testify before the Fulton County Special Grand Jury. States have a reciprocal legal program for securing testimony from out-of-state witnesses. But Shostokas convinced an Illinois judge that the request for Reverend Lee to testify in Georgia didn't meet Illinois standards. Judge McBurney's uh, certificate failed to cite any anything about Illinois law. The grand jury investigating former President Trump and others is believed to be back in action after taking off during the 2022 midterm elections. The district attorney's office says they will refile their complaint. Why doesn't Reverend Lee just come to Fulton County and testify before the grand jury? That you know that, that that's a that's a separate substantive question. Whatever it is that. Um, they seek from Reverend Lee or whatever. It's it's we're we're not there. That's not that's not an not an issue. What's at issue is at least in our view, Georgia was not compliant with the law of the state of Illinois. Dale Russell, Fox Five News.